o hai. Atashit, the city in Armenia, the administrative center of the Ararat region. Fourth capital of Great Armenia. Is in 2830 came to the southeast from Yerevan. The settlement in the territory of ancient Artashit existed at the time of Urartu. In 200 BB, Armenia was conquered by the Tsar Imperi Selevkadav Antiochus III Veliki. The largest cities of Armenia at the time were. Armavar, Arshamashit, Arkatiakert, Kalmak, Urvandashit, Urvandakert. In 190-189 years independence of Great Armenia from Selevkidev was declared BB, Artish's Ihube State Dynasty Artishezadev became her first Tsar. To itself Urvandadev called himself a Pradol a Dynasty. The Tsar Artishes founded the city in the Ararat Valley, having called by him by the name. The name Artishet means Artishes Joe. The second part of a word, Shat, of the name comes from ancient Persian language and means Joe. Earth city of Artishiza. Date of the basis of antique Artishet. Greeks called his art accent. He specified different from 190 to 170 years BB. According to the main version, it is 176 BB city became the capital and that was long time, except in the short period when Tigranicart became the capital. From 77 to 69 years to Anal. After Tigran II's defeat in fight with Lukol near Tigranicart, the capital was again returned to Artashit. Romans considered Artashit by the Armenian Carthage, and its founder considered Hannibal. Artashit stood on more convenient location than the former capital of Armavir. At the intersection of tradeways on the hills of Gavar. County. Lost in Hayats that allowed him to become quickly blossoming city. Artashit was at Mount Ararat foot on the left river bank Arix near the mouth of the Metsamer River. Later the Metsamer changed the course, his mouth moved on the northwest from Artashit. The citadel and the central quarters of the city were on nine hills carrying nowadays the name Chorus Virup. Ancient historians about Artashit tell that Carthaginian Hannibal, after Antiochus finally lost war with Romans, passed to the yard of Artix Armyanski, to which I gave a set of useful tips and manuals. By the way, he noticed the area which is extremely successfully located and beautiful, but lying in desolation, and, having made preliminary bastings for a future city, called Artix, showed him this area and convinced to build a pit. The Tsar was satisfied and asked Hannibal that it undertook supervision over construction. There was big and very beautiful city to which the Tsar gave the name and I proclaimed in the capital of Armenia. Plutarch meant a victory of Romans over the Slavkitsky Tsar Antiochus here. The city of Artashit was mentioned not only by Plutarch. So, Strabo wrote. Artaxata near Oraxina's plain is a well-planned city and the capital of the country. She is located on a ledge similar to the peninsula and before her walls around there passes the river except for space on an isthmus which is fenced with a ditch and a paling. He also considered that Hannibal was directly involved in construction of Artashit. Today the Armenian historians consider that this opinion was based only on comparative greatness of Artashit and his similarity to Carthage.
In the history of Armenia, Mofsis a Hornazi construction of Artashit is described in more detail. Besides, Hornazi mentions an interesting detail. Jews from Urvandashit were the first residents. Also, Moses Hornazi speaks about Artashizia. They say that at Artashiz there was no plot of the until earth in Armenia, neither on the mountains nor on valleys. Such is there was a prosperity of our earth. The the Chatrian who was the head of the expedition of archaeologists making a research in the 1978 years was one of outstanding researchers of Artashit. He also possesses the book Artashit, Antique Necropolises. According to him, the territory of Artashit made 400 hectares, length of walls fortifications. Strengthenings minus 10,000 meters, and the population minus 150,000 people during the maximum blossoming. In the first century BB, the first century at the population of Armenia hesitated within 3.55 million people. Proceeding from it, the capital could have the population in 150,000 people. Atashit was the capital and the uniting center of the country for about 500 years. Right after construction it found huge economic value, became one of the major transit world trade centers. Including the Great Silk Way. As a result of it the Armenian merchants began to import from China. Raw silk. Cocoons are the raw materials removed from them. And silk fabrics into export copper, lead, shitty fabric, gold, glass products and vessels from Alexandria and Mesopotamia. According to Moses Hornazi, a part of the population of Ravandashit, the former capital of Armenia was transferred to Artashit. Here, therefore, the Sinochism, formation of the population of the new-founded city by transfer of a part of the population of the old cities to him, the usual way of settling of the new cities in the Hellenistic world took place. In Armenia, however, this way was insufficient because of small number of urban population. Here applied also resettlement of strangers, as at Artishizai, and especially at Tigran too. In the first half of the second century BB in Armenia, besides Artashit, a number of other cities was founded. They bore a name of the father Artashas, Zarek, and were stretched by a chain across the territory of Armenia from the southeast on the northwest. Eight on the cities of Zarkaven in North Shurikane, Zarkaven in Bagravanda, Zarashet in Vananda, etc. Remained. In Safana during the same period the city of Arkatiakert was founded. As well as all cities of antique history, Artashit repeatedly was exposed to destructions. Presumably, through the first time it occurred on a joint of the two, I centuries BB when Parthians intruded in Armenia and took away from it 70 valleys, having taken away as the hostage of the Serevich of Armenia. Future Tigran II Subsequently Tigran II made extensive gains and transferred the capital. Artashit remained in the north, the new capital, Antioch, was out of Great Armenia. There was a need to create the capital in such place that she was in one of the areas of Armenia and at the same time could serve as the center of the power. For the sake of it, in the 77th year BB, on the bank of one of northern inflows of headwaters of the Tiger, in the Armenian Aldznik area the new capital of Tigranikert was founded. In 
In the 1690 BB when the Roman legions robbed and destroyed Tigranicut, the city of Artashit was threatened by a similar fate too, but on the way to Artashit Lakol's troops were beaten by Tigran too. After a while Tigran got beaten by Pompey, but the Roman commander entered on the Artashit earth in the 6060 BB not for her capture and for negotiations. The ultimatum according to which he had to refuse all countries won by him was delivered to Tigran, in exchange Romans left Armenia and her borders what they were before gains what Tigran to agree to. In the 50s BB, at the beginning of government of the son Tigran, Artavazd of II, the consul of Syria Mark Litsini Crassus was going to subdue the east up to Bactria. According to Tigran's contract of two with Pompey, Artavazd had to help Crassus' troops. Artavazd, understanding consequences of a possible victory of Rome for Armenia, I signed the contract with the Parthian Tsar Ored of II, having fixed him by conjugal ties of the sister with the Parthian Tsarevich. By then the Roman army suffered crushing defeat in fight at the Mesopotamic city of Kari. 20,000 Roman soldiers, including, and Crassus died. In Artashit celebrations when here the chopped off Crassus's head was delivered continued. Plutarch describes it and also quotes a fragment of the play. Just cut off Ivy. Our hunting production happy. From mountains we bear in a hall. Artavaz died in the 34th year BB having fallen a victim of perfidious capture from Mark Antony. The capital of Armenia, as well as the whole country, underwent robbery. Especially temples were damaged. Romans cut on a part and carried away a gold statue from the temple of the goddess Anate. In a year the son Artavazda, Artishis II, 33, 20 years BB proclaimed themselves the Tsar and defended independence of the country, having interrupted the Roman soldiers left by Antony. In the middle of the first century Romans intruded in Armenia under Domitius Kerbulan's leadership again. They passed with by fire and sword through the whole country and in the fall had approached the 58-year Artashit. The Tsar Terdat, Terdat, ran away to Atropatena, having shown to Romans weakness and resistance owing to what they occupied the capital. In the spring of the next year, under the pressure of the Armenian and allied Parthian troops, they receded, but before retreat burned the city. Cornelius Tusidide told about it. As for Artaxata, set on fire by us, she was raised to the ground and compared to the earth because because of the extent of city strengthenings we couldn't hold her for ourselves without strong garrison, and the small number of our army didn't allow to distinguish such garrison and at the same time to continue war. To leave its whole and safe without any protection would mean that we didn't manage to take for ourselves from mastering by it either advantage or glory. Romans receded to the Aretsani River where got beaten by the Armenian and Parthian troops. According to the made peace in Armenia the dynasty Arshakadav was established, Tiridatai who built up the capital anew in 60, the 70th years became the first Tsar. In the 60-60 year Tiridat with huge sweet returned from Rome. Not Ron, as transfer the Roman sources, as compensation for destruction of Artashit gave to Turdat the huge sum of money and sent handicraftsmen for a restoration of the city. The restored Artashit was called after that Neronia. Thus, the Roman Empire considered itself obliged to restore Artashit and executed it. In 163 the Roman troops appeared at walls of Artashit again. 
the city besieged by them was taken, but the revolt in which center there was just a capital broke out again. Romans left having partially destroyed the city. In 164 the capital of Armenia announced the Garshapat. After that Artaship became empty. At the end of the 3rd century Gregory Parfian, educator, returned to Armenia from Cappadocia. On the Artaship hill where palaces towered, there was also a chorus verip, a deep hole where left suicide bombers. The legend about Christianization of Armenia is connected with this hole. His auto that free left into chorus verip Gregory for the fact that there was a son of Anak who killed the Tsar Khosra, the father Terdat and also for the fact that it refused to profess pagan belief. In the same place, in the city of Artashit, he was subjected to tortures. Subsequently, after Trudat's Christianization and acceptance by official religion in Armenia of Christianity, Frigori together with the Armenian regular army which was entrusted to him by Trudat entered Artashit to destroy temples of the supreme goddess of the Armenian pantheon of innate and god of Inesnos, sciences, arts, trade, the interpreter of dreams of the shooting gallery. It is known that the temple innate was in Artashit, and the temple of the shooting gallery, in the village of Erasmus. The battle of pagan Armenians with Grigory's army took place, as a result the defeated pagans were forced to run for the north, to the Caucasus. A grief to us, the mountain to us, the mountain to us because from all places Jesus, the son of Maria, the daughter of the person expelled us. And from here too we are forced to run because of this crucified and died person. Where to us to go now? His glory filled the earth. We will go to inhabitants of the Caucasus Mountains, to the north. Perhaps, there we will have an opportunity to live, and with their help we will grant our desire. Because he, haunting us and depriving of air, I expelled us from habitats of the person. To tell us the destroyed temple and aid difficult looked. It is known how various temples of Artemis looked. Which was identified with an aid. And as the only Armenian pagan temple which lived up to now, Karni looks. In 332-338 years Khosrow III Kotak was the Tsar of Armenia. In view of change of the riverbed of Arax and the worsened ecological situation, the Tsar built the city of Dvin and moved inhabitants there. Gnosis Hornazi speaks about it as follows. Because at the time ours accompanied the sun, and fades the hot, infected with a stench winds. Being not able to take out it, residents of Artaship voluntarily agreed to resettlement. However, even after that Artaship remained the largest city. In the 3rd century alignment of forces in the region changed. In 226-227 Parthia under the pressure of Persian Sassanida which amplified and began to pursue aggressive policy fell allied to Armenians. In the 368 years Armenia conducted fierce fight against Persia. Persians intruded in Armenia, took and destroyed to Granikert, and then, having passed the Aretsani River and moving ahead on the Euphrates current, borrowed Aniakomak. But in resolute battle on the Ararat plain the Armenian troops directed by Vasak Mamakonian crushed the enemy. In war the change, and all attempts of Persians to promote came far inland were beaten off. However, conflicts between the Tsar and the Nakararamaramaram which ceased was for a while, flashed with a new force. In view of a difficult situation within the country, Arshik was forced to look for the world. 
In 367 G. Shapur invited the Armenian Tsar and Vosip Mamakonian in Ktesiphon, allegedly for signing a peace treaty. Here both were perfidiously seized. Vosip was executed, and Arshik too is imprisoned in a dungeon. The Armenian kingdom got into extremely difficulties. Arshik had the son the father, but that was still very small, and the queen Paranzum didn't hold sufficient authority in the country there came the anarchy. Using it, Persians raised all large Armenian cities to the ground. Artashit, Bagarshabat, Ravandashit, Nekchavan, Zarashet, Wang and Tigranakut interrupted in all of them adult men and stole children and women to Iran. Moved almost all city dwellers, moved first of all Jews, but moved also Armenians much. After that they came to the big city of Artashit, took it, destroyed walls, took away the treasures stored there, and took away all residents in captivity. From the city of Orkutsha took away in captivity 9,000 families of Jews who were brought into captivity from the Palestinian country by the Tsar Tigran Ortashiza and 40,000 families of Armenians who were taken away in captivity from the city of Ardashit. From city buildings wooden set fire and burned stone raised and a wall. All buildings of the city raised to the ground, raised to the ground, the city, having deprived of all inhabitants, turned into the deserted desert. And they took away all great number of prisoners and lodged a part in Asarestan and a part in the country of Huzestan. By 368 practically the fortress of Artigers where the Queen Paranzum with the Serevich Papas took cover remained the last bastion which remained at Armenia. Papas soon managed to run to Romans, and the Queen with the right Nicarara and 11,000 garrison which remained her is more than a year, despite cruel hunger and diseases, maintained a siege of Persians. Besieging nevertheless it was succeeded to take cartridges in 369 G and to seize all imperial treasures. Paranzum together with other prisoners stole to Iran. For her desecration the Chachapur ordered to build the special house in which everyone could copulate with the deposed queen on the square of the capital. Thus she was tortured to death. And in the one Armenia destruction of churches and persecution on Christians began. But when the Armenian kingdom seemed already finally broken, arrived fathers with big Roman army. Around them separate groups of patriots began to unite, and soon fierce war was resumed. Having suffered several defeats, Persians receded. In 369 G together with Mushik Mamakonian. The son of Vosik executed by Persians. The Tsar entered Artashit. In 371 G Shapur attacked Armenia again. Resolute battle happened at the foot of Mount Pat on the Jurafsky plain. The Armenian army which was supported by the big Roman group sent by the Emperor Valent battled against big courage and won a victory. Shapur was forced to recognize the father as the Tsar of Armenia. Despite early age, it proved the uncommon statesman. During all the reign he managed to maintain the peace with Iran and that to give to the country though a respite short, but very necessary to her. Independent and independent policy the father. In particular his frequent intercourses with the Shah. It weren't pleasant to Romans. In 374 G the Roman commander Terence invited the father to himself to a feast. Here directly at a table the Armenian Tsar was cut by the Roman legionaries.
In 387 Armenia was divided between Iran and Byzantium. However the city continued existence and after ruin by Shapur II. In Justinian's code in an imperial edict of 408, 409 years Artashit, along with Nusabing in northern Mesopotamia and Kaliniki on Euphrates is registered as one of points of international trade, but it is probable, he kept value only thanks to the fact that was at the intersection of roads. In the 7th century on the place of once big and blossoming city the fortress and the small settlement which residents were engaged in production of the Armenian purple paint, cachineal insects remained. The Arab historian Baladzori in connection with events calls the 7th century artichet, the settlement is scarlet, the red cachineal insect. Further artichet disappears from the historical arena. The templates of monasteries of the 10th, 13th centuries in the 13th century on the place of Evo Chorus Europe remained there was a monastic complex of the same name with the higher school run by one of the largest scientists of medieval Armenia, Pardon of Vilci. The modern building of church belongs mainly to the 17th century, it consists of the main church of the Virgin Street. Frigary's church on a whole chorus of Europe and the inhabited economic rooms adjoining a complex fencing from her inside. In the Middle Ages it is known as the settlement of Kamarlu. At the time of entry into structure of Russia the territory of Artashit was thrown and almost deserted. By the end of the 19th century, the large village in the village gardening, cotton cultivation, winemaking was developed, the small winery worked. Since 1920, the settlement of Kamarlu. In 1920, the 1930th years to Kamaru was a part of the Erevansky County. Since 1930, after abolition of the counties of Kamarlu becomes the regional center, on September 4, 1945 again receives the name Artashit. In 1938 Karamu receives the status of the urban type settlement, and in 1962 the status of the city. According to the collection of data on the Caucasus, through 1880 in the village of Kamalu of the Erevansky County according to 1873 there were 178 Armenian and 90 Azerbaijani yards, 1264 Armenians of the Gregorian religion and 663 Azerbaijanians are specified as Tatars who were Shiites lived. Also in the village two churches, one mosque, 60 benches, a market and a post station were located. According to statistical data of 1893, to Kamala there lived 2084 persons from whom 1413 Armenians, 668 Azerbaijanians. Tatars according to a source. According to the Caucasian calendar for 1912, 1083 Armenians and 744 Azerbaijanians pacified as Tatars lived in the village of Kamarlu of the Erevansky County. On materials of an agricultural population census of 1922 across Armenia, in the city the number of Armenians made 1507 people, Azerbaijanians are specified as Tirko Tatar. Minus 126, Russians minus 4. In total minus 1637 people. The population of Artashit in 1897 made 833 persons, in 1926, 2505, in 1939, 4148, in 1959, 7277, in 1974, 14905, 
in 1976, 16774 persons, according to a census of 1989 it made about 32000 people, in 2001, 22600, by calculations for the beginning of 2008 makes 20900 people. Atashit is located to the southeast from Yerevan on the Ararat plain on the left river bank as it. The city is surrounded with orchards and vineyards. Distance to border with Turkey, about 4 km. The square of the city, about 10 km. Extent from the south on the north, minus 5.5 km, from the east on the west, minus 3 km. Through the city there pass branch lines Yerevan, Urask, and Yerevan, Yegignadzer, Kapan. Artashit leaves 10 highways conducting to neighboring villages. In three came to the southeast from Artashit there are limestone deposits. In the city the wine and cognac and canning plants function. In Soviet period in Artashit the enterprises of the light and food industry, the machine building, ceramic plants and others also worked, about their activity there are no data at present. Artashit and its vicinities, one of the largest on the output of the agricultural regions of Armenia. Here the irrigating network using waters of the Artashit Canal and the Azip River is strongly developed. Fundamentals of agriculture are wine growing, fruit growing, vegetable growing and dairy livestock production. Olhavyarapsky hills were fenced with fortifications. Each hill had the walls, however they were in separate strengthenings, and connected with each other, forming the uniform system of strengthenings. Between hills the double parallel lines of walls forming narrow passes which, connecting, formed very extensive and powerful defensive system were built. It is probable that Fortisitus also speaks about need of numerous and strong garrison for strengthening of the city. Traces of fortifications are visible on all hills though in places they didn't remain, disappeared and collapsed. At excavation of one of fortifications fragments of the Karas, clay lamps and other types of ceramics relating to the Ararat Kingdom. Irartu were found, all this was known to archaeologists on finds from Erebuni and Teshabani, Agastikanili. On the first hill under half of the second century BB paved with stones the Uratsky press with strongly erased images of priests or gods was found. Around fortifications the city was located. The houses of traditional local shape built of a reddish fragmentary stone and also the white stone monumental buildings decorated with columns and blocked by tile roofs represented a bright and colorful picture under the sun. Interiors of buildings were decorated with architectural furniture and a wall painting. Uniform planning, a skillful combination of quarters, streets, squares and buildings to a relief of hills and the plain, existence of municipal conveniences. An aqueduct slash water supply system, baths and other. Most likely all this also was a basis for so high review of town planning advantages of the capital of ancient Armenia. As the city was at confluence Arax and the Metzimer, Artashit was protected also by water boundaries. Through Arax Daparakan bridge was thrown, he was before the city and probably he contacted some of the main gate of the city. Through this bridge there was a main road on the southwest connecting Artashit to Tigranagurt. At the Metsamorsky bridge the road branched in the northwest direction it conducted to Vagarshapat, and in southeast to Iran. These roads had both strategic and trade and economic value.
The city had the extensive and powerful defensive system consisting of the fortifications, shaft and a ditch filled with water. Defenders of the city used onions, darts, catapults, prashcha and gas mixture in those days. So, at excavation on the first hill, at walls, both outside, and from the inside, the set of stone kernels from catapults was found. In September, 2007 in Artashit the pagan temple devoted to Drevnam Yonsky, god of the sun, to Mikur was found. The public bath consisting of seven rooms with an inlaid floor of 75 m was also found. Everyone. Artashit has the master plan for the first time developed and approved in 1948. In 1968 the master plan was revised. The most part of buildings in the city three, five story. In 2002-2015 in the city St. John the Evangelist Church was constructed. The climate is sharply continental. Average temperature of July August minus 20, 26 C, January. 6 C, the largest air temperature, about 42 C, the smallest. 32 C. An average annual amount of precipitation minus 200, 235. All so far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.